Greetings, Koinonia Global Pillars and friends. God bless you for your prayers here at Gift 5, where we sow five minutes daily to pray for God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, and for God's vision, Koinonia Global. It's the 11th of July, 2024. I apologize that this did not post when I originally uploaded it. So I'm re-uploading it a third time. And I prayerfully <laughs> hope that you're able to come into agreement with this by hearing it properly. It's day five of seven Thursday. Our prayer focus today is kindled fire. Speaking of fire, remember we are praying and fasting for our upcoming Revival Fire, the first of its kind hosted here in USA and Canada coming up on the 17th of July. And we are praying and fasting daily from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. your respective times around the globe until the 16th of July. Fresh Fire Fresh does not necessarily mean new, maybe just new to us. Nothing is new under the sun. The Lord is a sun and shield. He is also the ancient one. We honor you, Lord, the most high. We praise your name, Adonai, O ancient of days. Daniel chapter 7 verse 22. We praise you, Ancient of Days, for displaying what seems to be a paradox from our limited understanding, our limited viewpoint. Father, please help us to rise higher so that we genuinely, accurately reflect your desire, your want, your will for your son, Apostle Selman, and for your vision, Koinonia, and ultimately for your bride on a whole, the church. We thank you for your empowerment and your igniting of our souls by various means from this oil of which we have chosen to submit because you first chose us with an everlasting love, a love that sees our past but still has a hope for our future. You believe in the reality of our victory as we believe in and upon your precious son, Yeshua Hamashiach. The fiery flames in the eyes of Christ are really windows pointing to the passion of his soul, Matthew 6, the zeal of the Lord, the consuming fire, the fresh, fire. May you consume everything not like you, Lord, within our earthen vessels, as well as throughout the earth where our feet may tread, so that the grounds can be restored and renewed to grow your fresh harvest. Psalm 65, 11. Father, while your fire consumes to get rid of distraction from your will, it also protects and preserves your will and purposes, as it did with Moses near the seemingly burning bush. We ask you, Lord, to keep Apostle Selman's heart lit with your eternal flame of your higher and more superior purposes, your fresh agenda to balance, show him your mystery of how to burn constantly without burning out, how to receive your freshness, even with that which may be old. As Apostle said at last Sunday's service, it may not be new, but it's always fresh. Just like your word, Lord, just like you. As you fill and sustain his mind with your ancient wisdom, compel his heart to be postured to receive the freshest fire, the freshest revelation, and the freshest engracing available and necessary to his rising. For as he rises, we rise in Jesus' name. Amen. Family, remember to submit your own short prayer for Apostle and Koinonia, either typed or voice recorded via email, pillarsandfriends at gmail.com. And would you please do me a small favor, share a little more love by pressing a very big like so that others have the opportunity to pray with us as well. I truly appreciate you and I thank you for joining Match Flames to pray. See you tomorrow.